Hey, what's up everybody? Ian in here from Udroid Mania, and I'm back again to talk about the lens sunscreen protector for the Galaxy S7 Edge. Last week I installed that protector on the phone. I showed you guys a couple of things and I said this week we'd come back and talk about it. I was able to come up with about 20 or so cases, give or take a few. Some of them are color variants, so I didn't need to actually put every single case on the phones, but you guys get the idea. There were a lot of cases here. I actually showed most of them on the channel. I'll link down below the videos where I've already done reviews on these cases so that you guys can check those out if you want to go back if you're interested in any of these cases. What I wanted to do today in terms of this particular video is instead of me coming up with my own ideas and tests that I would actually do for this protector, I figured it might be easier if I just go through the comments below that you guys have already left on the first part of the video and try and answer some of the questions that you had in terms of this protector, how well it holds up and those types of things. That being said, let's go ahead and dig into some of the questions you guys had as you're looking at the cases that actually work with this particular phone. If I mess up any of your names, I apologize for that now. So the first question I have here is from Pandy Payne. And the question is, why isn't the glue on the center of these protectors, not just the top and bottom. Pandy's referring to a tempered glass screen protector. This is a nano screen protector. And they're two different things. The nano screen protector has the adhesive over the entire thing. So that protector adheres fully to the display. When we're talking about tempered glass screen protectors, what we've seen for the Galaxy S7 Edge is that there's either uh, adhesive at the top and at the bottom only, like the Alpha Glass for, by OtterBox, or there's the adhesive that only runs really around the perimeter of the display. This is what I'm being told by the manufacturers. There's minor imperfections in all of these display panels that are out there. So what that means for them is that when they mass produce their tempered glass screen protectors, those are usually all the same. And since each one of these displays are slightly different, they're not gonna fully adhere, which means that there's gonna be issues we as a consumer aren't gonna be happy. There's gonna be complaints, those types of things. So what they opted for was adhesive at the tops and bottom and along the side. The next question comes to us from Cynthia Haugen and it's how does the protector hold up with a case? Like I said earlier, I looked at about 20 of them and three of them the protector didn't actually work so well with. Keep in mind here that I'm switching the cases out two to three times a day. This is not your average use case. This is probably something that the majority of you aren't gonna do. As I got to the end of the week, the edges of the protector started to peel up on day six or day seven. This is probably 15 cases in, in between 15 to 18 cases in. So at this point, I kind of expect this because in my opinion, these protectors aren't meant to be paired with that many cases in such a short period of time. I'm gonna err on the side of caution and just say that there's three cases that will not work with this protector in my opinion and I'll link those down below I'll let you guys know um, which cases work out of the 20 and which of the cases didn't work so make sure that you check in the description the next question comes to us from who way and it's does it fit with UAG Spigen Otterbox and other cases that I've shown on the channel the answer is yes it does in terms of UAG not so much um, this is a particular case that I've not found a lot of screen protectors to work with the one that works the best with UAG uh, the composite case. I think I said this in the OtterBox Alpha Glass video is that that's probably the most case friendly tempered glass screen protector that I've seen and also it happens to work with the UAG composite case as far as I can remember um, and we're talking about over the course of a year now that's the only one that really in terms of glass um, works. In terms of the nano protector from Lensun, no, it doesn't work. So I would say stay away from this particular screen protector if you're going with that particular case. The next question is from Max Stormers and it's GPEL or Lensun? Go. For me, they're in two different categories. I mean, GPEL is a tempered glass screen protector, Lensun is a nano screen protector. When it comes to my favorite tempered glass, I've said this before, it is GPEL and that still remains true today. My favorite case combo with that is the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro. When you put those two together, it's like having an S7 Edge active in my mind. So again, that's the best combination um, that you can get if you're going for tempered glass. If you are looking for a film protector or in this case a nano screen protector, Lensun's the only nano screen protector that I've reviewed on the channel today so that for me has to stand at the top. So GPEL or Lensun, I look at this screen protector to be more on the film side and I know what you guys are going to ask me next with an armor suit or Lensun and to that I say you'll have to see that in another video. The next question comes from Arab Najjar and it's can this protector save the phone from accidental drops or you know falls and is it case friendly? The answer is yes and yes. 
Um, this protector, as you guys have seen, it's pretty durable when it comes to the nanotechnology. I'm not going to suggest that you guys go out there and hammer your phones or, you know, slam them into walls or throw them down, drop them on the ground, any of those kinds of things. You definitely have impact protection here. In terms of case friendly, there's 20 cases here, 17 of them work. At the time that I made this video last week, they were offering free shipping, so I'm not sure where you are, Jaffa Juice, that you weren't able to get the free shipping, but if Lensun is offering free shipping as of this go-round and this making of the video, then maybe they'll comment down below and let us know. Uh, next question comes to us from Shahin Mia, and the question is, does this protector have good screen clarity? And then there was a follow-up question to that by Spartan Shadow 13 who asks, is it crystal clear? The answer is yes, it's got good screen clarity. The answer is yes in terms of it being crystal clear. When the protector's on and the screen's on, you really don't know that it's there. I haven't had any issues in terms of color shifts or changes while using this protector. The whites look white, the blacks definitely look black, so there you go. The next question comes to us from FCB1708, and it's, is the nano protector like a glass protector? Um, yes and no, I mean, there's really no easy way to answer that question. It definitely feels better than your standard film. It doesn't feel quite as good as a glass screen protector. In terms of protection though, I would say it's right up there with it. You know, most glass screen protectors, you're gonna get about a six on the uh, Mohs hardness scale. So with this particular protector, even though it's not glass, in terms of impact resistance, you drop your phone from 1.6 meters like Gorilla Glass 5, I think this protector's got you covered. Uh, next question comes to us from Nessa Bear, and it's does the protector cover the edge too? See, now that's a tricky question because when it comes to a screen protector for the S7 Edge, you need a protector that doesn't go all the way down to the bezel on the sides of the phone. When you have a protector that does that, and you pair it with a case, then the case tends to lift that protector up. And that's something that's not gonna be so good because then, as you guys know, if, especially if you're using glass, what happens is there's not a lot of adhesive there. So it just lifts right off or you get that creaking as you're, um, as you're typing or using or tapping, you know, swiping on the screen, those types of things. You're gonna get that creaking sound and we don't want that either. Eventually, those protectors end up coming off so you waste your money. I think I said this as well in the OtterBox uh, Alpha Glass video that I think their formula actually got it right, and this is the type of protectors that we're starting to see for the S8 and the S8 Plus. They don't go all the way down to the actual bezel where the metal meets the display. That's what actually makes those cases case friendly. So that's what we want when you're looking for a protector, one that doesn't actually go all the way down to where the display meets the metal on the side, on the edge of the phone. Next question comes to us from Crazy, I like that name too. Uh, it's, is this case friendly with the Notorious UAG case? And I answered this question earlier on and the answer is no. So UAG, Lensun, no. Last week I mentioned that I was gonna have several protectors that I'm actually giving away. Lensun did send some out. Um, I mentioned that I was gonna go through the comments and pick out some random people that I would actually send these to. Let me explain how that's gonna work. So two things, as I mentioned, hopefully you're already subscribed to the channel, uh, you're, you're 18 and older. If you're not, you need to have your parents' consent because I'm gonna need your shipping details. What you need to do if your name appears at the end of this video is make sure that you go to my about page, find my email address and send me an email. I'm planning on posting these out on Monday, this coming Monday, between now and Monday, April 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the States. Make sure that I've had some contact with you. I've got your shipping address. If you missed the video, you missed contacting me, I'm sorry, but the, the giveaway will be closed at that point. So hopefully you guys make sure that if you're watching this video and your name shows up, that you actually um, follow through. Good luck. Okay, so there you guys have it. I tried to get this video out yesterday, so just let me apologize for that. And with that out of the way, let's wrap up this series. When it comes to the lens on screen protector, it's definitely a go. This protector can take a beating, there's no issues around touch sensitivity, and it's crystal clear. But more importantly, as you guys have seen here, it does work with a lot of cases. I only had 20 left from all my S7 Edge cases, and out of those, it worked with 17. Check down below in the description if you want to see the three that it doesn't work for. I did spend some time over the last week, as you already know, going through the comments. One of the main themes that jumped out at me was around pricing. Some of you feel that this protector costs a lot of money, so I've got some good news there. I learned from Lensun that they're going to offer this protector at 50% off until April 18th, so if you're interested, get it now. 
lastly before I let you all go if you want to see more videos for the S7 Edge make sure to give this one a big thumbs up so that I know if you're new to the channel now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this welcome to the channel as always I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one